Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video I want to talk about Sam Sulek's training style. Very, very interesting training style that is providing him great gains in his upper body, and as far as legs, I don't know so much, but upper body definitely, he made a lot of progress, a lot of gains. I noticed a lot of people are criticizing his training, so I wanted to give you my take on this, and I'm not gonna talk about Sam Sulek's diet. At this point, we all know his diet is pretty much horrible. It works for him because obviously he has a fast metabolism, he trains hard, he has great genetics, so it doesn't really matter what he eats so much. And really, when you have such great genetics, and he has like Jay Cutler type of genetics, when you have genetics like that, you can, you can eat whatever you want and really you can even train whichever way you like. You're gonna respond. But, just like everybody, Sam Sulek has some genetic weaknesses. And for those body parts to grow, he needs to train them properly. Now, here we are looking at him doing Romanian deadlift with cables. And I mean, form here is pretty much horrible. It's, it's really bad, it's definitely not a good form. I don't care how good his hamstrings are looking, this form is definitely not good and most people wouldn't get anything out of this. And I don't know how much he is getting out of it, because his legs, again, are definitely not a strong point for him. He is wearing an oversized t-shirt, so you can't really see how big his upper body is, but his upper body is definitely way bigger than his legs. He's definitely upper body dominant, his legs need to catch up. Before I continue, just for the reference, for those of you who don't know, I'm a competitor, I'm a classic bodybuilding European champion and world vice champion, and I compete for quite a few years. I'm not as big as Sam Sulek. This guy definitely has open bodybuilding genetics, not classic physique. My genetics are as bad as they get. I made what I made just through hard work and smart work, and I think I could give Sam a couple of tips for legs. Because like I said, his legs are definitely not his strongest body part, and the way he's training them, it's not really optimal. I started following this guy like a month or two months ago and from what I heard uh, he's basically saying that he doesn't want bigger glutes or adductors, stuff like that, he just wants bigger quads, therefore for the past like two months he's been focusing only on leg extensions and bodyweight CC squats. In my opinion leg extensions are great to warm up your knees before you do the actual work or for pre-exhaustion, but are leg extensions gonna give you big legs, big quads? No, definitely not. They're gonna give you details, they're gonna work on your rectus femoris, but as far as lateralis and vestus medialis and adductors and glutes and hamstrings as well, you're not gonna get overall thick legs, big legs. And as you can see, Sam stopped doing squats for a month or two and his legs are actually down in size now. Check out this photo from a couple of months ago before he started doing only leg extensions and CC squats for his leg training, for his quad training. So yeah, this definitely wasn't smart. He has a lot of his own ideas, he's doing things his own way, which I like, you know, he is very unique, he does things his own way, the way he thinks is, is the best, the way he feels is right, but, you know, if you do that, sometimes you're gonna make mistakes and, you know, realize that you made a mistake, so this was definitely a big mistake if you ask me, so he probably realized that and he incorporated squats into his program back again. But now, the problem is the way he's performing the squats. Now, squats, that's like the most complex exercise out there. And he's doing a pre-exhaustion, CC squats, which is something I don't think I ever saw before. Probably his own idea. And the way he's doing the squats right here, it doesn't look safe at all. Like, I'm sure he's putting a lot of strain on his knees. This is 315, this is heavy. And the way he's bending his back... It's not good, this is definitely not the best way to do squats. He's probably gonna have issues at some point, unless he has knees of steel, like Tom Platts for example, and a spine of steel as well, because this is definitely not the best squat technique, and he doesn't care, I don't think. He just does whatever he feels, works his legs the most, the hardest, and he doesn't care about doing it properly, which is definitely not something I would advise a regular person to do. Once again, he's a genetic phenomenon, for sure, and maybe he has really strong joints as well, and he's obviously not very prone to injury, but, you know, he's very young. Give him a couple of years of doing this stuff, and I don't think this is gonna go too well. 
since he is doing the squats again, I'm not saying he necessarily has to do the squats. He can do hack squats or even leg presses. He needs something to overload his squats in the stretched position. And leg extensions are putting an emphasis on the shortened part of the range of motion, so definitely not the best way to create the most hypertrophy and also not the best way to activate the bigger parts of the quad. And it doesn't really matter what I say, the results are here. You can see that his legs are definitely down in size now since he made that change. As far as hamstrings, I believe the isolation work should be enough, but if he's doing the RDLs this way, I don't know, man, rounding your back this much, it's definitely putting your spine in a vulnerable position. And I don't know how much hamstring activation is he really getting from this, but whatever, it's probably gonna work for him because he has great genetics, but for most people, no, I would definitely not teach somebody to do the RDLs this way. And I know millions are following this guy and they're probably gonna duplicate what he's doing and yeah, it's definitely not gonna work out for majority of the people. Like I said, an absolute genetic freak. At 21 years old, look at this development. This is crazy. And like I said also, he has a very unique training style. He does things uh, instinctively. He does things the way he feels it works. And for some body parts, he's doing wonders. For example, his back, he's doing a lot of unorthodox stuff and the regular stuff he's doing his own way, a little bit strange, you know, not really common way. But, you know, he has really good back, really good lats. So he knows how to connect with them doing these kind of exercises. And I'm sure he's damaging the muscle in a positive way as much as he needs to. Because again, very, very strong genetic point for him. But if you have average or below average genetics like myself, you're not gonna get far with the training style of Sam Sulik or his diet or pretty much anything he's doing. Sam Sulik basically proves that it doesn't really matter what you're doing. As long as you're training hard, eating a lot and doing stuff, you know, taking stuff, you're, you're gonna grow, you're gonna get big, you know, if you have genetics, if you have the right genetics for bodybuilding. Branch Warren's training form was never the prettiest, which is an understatement, and he got as high as top 2 at a Mr. Olympia, and he won the Arnold Classic, so yeah, I mean, if you have great genetics, you can just train hard, eat a lot, do drugs, and grow, which is obviously what Sam Sulik is doing, but if you don't have the great genetics, you gotta do the things smart way, unfortunately. Aside from Sam's back, his shoulders are definitely his second or his strongest point, and I think they are not really helping him with his chest training because as you can see whenever he's doing the presses or flies his shoulders are taking over a lot and he's caving in at the end of the movement as you can see he's always putting his shoulders above his chest he's not keeping the tension on his chest his chest is awesome it's great it's good but it would be better his shoulders wouldn't be as dominant as they are if he was training with a little bit better form. If you guys follow this guy, you will notice that he never has a shoulder day in his routine. He trains back, chest, arms and legs. Because his shoulders are so dominant. And right here, as you can see also, there is a lot of shoulder here. There is a lot of front delt when he's doing the flies or any kind of chest movements. Sure, chest is activating just enough for him to grow it. Because, again, genetic freak, he doesn't take much. But he's definitely putting his shoulders into work here a lot. Look at this as well. Like you can see definitely a lot of front delt activation. Definitely not isolating the chest. But again, it's working for him. He doesn't need to overthink it too much. And in case you guys haven't seen my video about Hadi Chopin's training, you can go ahead and watch it. It's two videos before this one. And if Hadi managed to win the freaking Mr. Olympia with that training style, which is probably much worse than Sam Sulek's training style, then I guess Sam can do it as well. I mean, I'm not saying he can win the Mr. Olympia, but he can get pretty far. We'll see if he's gonna compete someday, but if he wants to, you know, last longer, not destroy his joints or his spine or have muscle tears, and if he wants to improve those weaker body parts of his, if he wants to make his physique complete, you know, complete for the stage, for open bodybuilding, he's probably gonna have to look for some guidance from some more experienced bodybuilders and change a couple of things, accept some new changes. And, you know, I think he can go very far, but the way he's training right now, once again, it's working for him quite well, but there are obviously a couple of things he could change and get better, but, you know, I like his mindset. He's hardcore, he trains very hard, 
he does his own thing, he does what he thinks is the best, he listens to his body, sometimes it's wrong, sometimes he learns a lesson, but he gets better, he's definitely progressing, he looks incredible for a 21 year old, so once again, whatever he's doing overall, it's amazing, I just wanted to give you my take on this, because I see a lot of people commenting on his training style, on whatever he's doing, so guys, whatever you think about this, tell me in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.